Are you tired of going to the doctor with the same issue over and over again and never getting any relief? Are you tired of buying all types of vitamins and supplements, hoping but not knowing for sure that they will keep you healthy? Or are you getting enough of the right kind of nutrients that your specific body needs? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you need a nutritional blood analysis. With a nutritional blood analysis, we can take one drop of blood from a prick of your finger and analyze your body's nutritional needs, nutritional deficiencies, and nutritional imbalances. This analysis can provide an early warning of possible future health challenges so you can make the changes now to avoid the negative outcome. A nutritional blood analysis can be used to monitor a health challenge before and after adopting an approach to restore health and balance. It will also allow you the ability to determine the effectiveness of various approaches to restoring and balancing your health. So don't wait. Make your appointment. Stop guessing with your health. Know what works for sure. 901-602-7063. Big Graphics Printing, located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis. A complete print shop for all your printing needs. They do it all. Color copy, resumes, funeral programs, rubber stamps, full color business cards, wedding and graduation invitations, and more. 30 plus years of quality work and service. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis, Tennessee, 901-345-9294. See graphic no, no. printing. This is Sergeant Chris Richardson with the Tennessee Highway Patrol here to explain the Tennessee Hands-Free Law, which is a new state law effective July 1st, 2019. In Public Chapter 412, it makes it illegal for a driver to hold a cell phone or a mobile device with any part of their body to write, send, or read any text-based communication to reach for a cell phone or mobile device in a manner that requires the driver to no longer be in a seated driving position or properly restrained by a seatbelt to watch a video or a movie on a cell phone or a mobile device, and to record or broadcast video on a cell phone or mobile device. So, can I still talk on my cell phone while driving? Yes. A driver is permitted to use an earpiece, headphone device, or a device worn on a wrist to conduct a voice-based communication. Driver may use one button on a cell phone or mobile device to initiate or terminate voice communication, and voice-based communication may also be used to send a text message. Learn more at handsfreetn.com. CNS Motors Auto Sales, located at 2508 Summer Avenue, here in Memphis, Tennessee, call them at 901-323-8778. CNS Motors Auto Sales has been around since 1984. Go by and see Chris today. Some of the best pre-owned and used vehicles in the city. They have SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks. Whatever, Whatever you're looking, looking for in pre-owned used vehicles, hey, hey, you, you can, can find, find it right there at CNN Motors Auto Sales. Sales. See, Chris, since 1984, they will treat, treat you right. right. Call, Call them at 901-323-8778. That's 901-323-8778. Call them at 901-323-8778. Or you can find them at Summer Avenue, CNN Motors Auto Sales. This is Sergeant Chris Christmas in the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Pedestrian safety is two-way street. Both the drivers and the walkers need to do their part to keep your road safe. When you're walking, remember, the drivers may not always see you. So remember to use these tips to continue to walk safe. Wear black clothes. Always use crosswalks and obey signs. Lights and reflectors should be used. And finally, keep alert and do not walk distracted. This message is brought to you the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Are you, Are you tired, tired of going, going to the doctor with the same, same issue, issue over, over and over, and over again, again and never getting any relief? relief? Are, you Are you tired, tired of buying all types of vitamins, vitamins and supplements, hoping but not, not knowing for sure, sure that they, they will keep you healthy? healthy? Or are you getting, getting enough of the right, right kind of nutrients, nutrients that your specific, specific body, body needs? If you, you answer yes, yes to any of these questions, questions you, you need a nutritional blood analysis. 
With a nutritional blood analysis, we can take one drop of blood from a prick of your finger and analyze your body's nutritional needs, nutritional deficiencies, and nutritional imbalances. This analysis can provide an early warning of possible future health challenges so you, so you can make, make changes, changes now to avoid, avoid negative outcomes. A nutritional blood analysis can be used to monitor health challenges before and after adopting an approach to restore health and balance. It will also allow you the ability to determine the effectiveness of various approaches to restoring and balancing your health. So don't wait. Make, make your, your point. Stop, Stop guessing, guessing with your health. health. Know, know what, what works work for, for sure. sure. 901-602-7063. CJ Youth Appliances, located at 3530 Gatton Avenue here in Memphis, Tennessee. Call them at 901-487-7882. All right, uh, 901-213-6020. And if you can hear me good, uh, let me know. Oh, yeah, I can hear you good. So I know they can. All right, hear. can you hear me good? Can you hear me? Check, check, one, two, three. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you loud. So, yeah. uh, Vincent Turner out of Atlanta, Georgia is watching uh, this morning. Uh, man, thanks for watching. All right, and uh, yeah, we're back in here. And Jay, hey, how does this sound? Does it sound good or are we still having problems? Let us know. Uh, we left earlier. Uh, and see, I, I don't even want to start off what we did because there was okay. too much going on. We're going to start from the beginning. Yeah, got an echo on you. It's really got an echo on you, Josh. All right. Yeah, so I don't know. But, hey, uh, I mean, you know what we were talking about, Tennessee Titans and uh, – uh, the NFL starting off this weekend. Also, uh, we were talking about a a, a, a couple that stole a hundred thousand dollars. That's a basically basically what they did. You, uh, that's basically what they did. They stole a hundred thousand dollars. And uh, I'm sorry, my microphone just ain't loud enough for me. I, I like I it. like to hear. I'm I understand, people listening. I like to hear myself. I know, and I got it really <laughs> maxed out, and I never had you that loud, so yeah, it doesn't okay. make any sense. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just off top. Okay, is it cool now, Jason? Okay. All right. All right, um, all right. Well, let me do this. How about now? Yeah, that sounds better. Okay. I like to hear myself. Good. If I can't hear myself, I figure people can't hear me. But at any rate, uh, an our story about that too. That lady. Or that couple that stole a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Uh, then the bank employee. I don't know. 
anybody working for me that gives away a hundred thousand dollars to the wrong person, then uh, you need to check them out. Maybe they were trying to give it to someone that they knew, but they messed up and gave it to somebody else. So I don't know. It's maybe they were. Possible. Maybe they were tricky. Yeah, that's true. But they didn't do it the right way. I don't know. But hey, uh, you know there were problems there, and they end up spending all of the money. They spent a hundred and seven. What well, they're being charged a hundred and seven thousand uh, dollars by the bank uh, as far as uh, what do you call that? Uh, late overdraft fees or something? Yeah, that's what they're being charged by the bank. And uh, so they got to pay out. They they bought SUVs. They bought uh, motorhome. Uh, they bought what else? Uh, uh, those little things you drive in the dirt. What do you call them? Uh, four wheelers. Four wheelers. They bought two of those. My goodness. Uh, you know, so I don't know. They, you know, spent a whole bunch of money. It was well over a hundred. And, and, and they spent it in a hurry, though. Yeah. Why did they spend it so fast? If they, well, to me, they found out that it that okay, we had a hundred thousand dollars in our account. Wow, let's hurry up and spend it. Uh, like before. So, Somebody finds out about it. That's the way it went to me. So uh, that's why I knew they knew it was wrong, but they did it anyway. So, you know, folks, I mean, you just don't spend money. You you know that's not yours. Uh, you should have called the bank or something. That's the way I feel. I don't know. What do you think? You think they it was given to them and that, hey, you know, so, you know, they had a right to spend it. Nine zero one two one three six zero two zero. Yeah. Okay. And you know, like like you said, there there it is, right there. And uh, finally, uh, got it straight. I realized what the echo was, so I shut that off. So we're good to go now. Hey, so um, testing new equipment. Hopefully, y'all can hear us good, loud, mm-hmm. and clear. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate y'all tuning back in. Um, share the video if you can. I know uh, it's a lot later than usual. Uh, right now, but yeah. hey, it is what it is, man. Yeah, we're just on now just to test the equipment. Yeah. So, you mm-hmm. know, make see, see what's going on. Uh, everything's going right there. All right, Josh, there's another story out. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people already know about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, story, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris. Uh, a lot of people not satisfied and not happy with uh, what he's proposing here. And he's proposing an extra 100 and forty-five thousand uh, dollars to be spent per car uh, after the third car that you have registered. If you have three or more cars, then the third, fourth, fifth car, whatever, whatever. If you're paying one hundred and ten dollars per year registration now, you're gonna have to pay one hundred and forty-five dollars extra, which is about two hundred fifty or more dollars per car past. Uh, to the third, fourth, fifth car. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, also, uh, Wanda Halbert, she is the uh, uh, Shelby County Shelby clerk. County clerk. Yes, and she says she didn't know anything about it. He was proposing something without letting her know because it had to go through her office, and uh, so she felt that wasn't a good thing for him to do something like that. So uh, she's upset. Other people are upset. Nobody knew about it. But he says it's something that the uh, the county needs and uh, it's going to help those that ride the bus. You know, the bus thing. So, well, Josh, we had a story on that a yeah. recording. Yeah. Okay, let's play that story. Here, here's some other things that they said as well. And what he said and what he's talking about, the whole uh, deal here as far as that concern and which a lot of people are not happy about it. And the thing about it, he says, it's only affecting those that are in the county. So you're saying that nobody in, there's nobody in Memphis that can afford three or more cars in their driveway? Well, now, this also includes motorcycles, motorhomes, and things of that. It includes that, too? Yeah, it includes that, too, yeah. Oh, man. So if you have a motorcycle, that's your third vehicle (laughs) if you already have two. Wow. Yeah, you have to pay extra. Wow. To get it registered. So, all right, let's take a listen to the story and we'll be right back. 
10.06 at the time. Ten, six minutes past the hour, 10 o'clock, and we're just all here for, I don't know, a little bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. here we go. Here we go. Take a listen. Controversial plan to fund the Memphis Area Transit Authority, known as MATA. If the county commission approves Mayor Lee Harris's proposed $145 fee for every home or business with three or more cars, the Shelby County clerk would have to collect that money. Yeah, but tonight, Clerk Wanda Halpert is pointing fingers mm -hmm. at Mayor Harris, saying he left her out of the loop, and she did not mm -hmm. find out about it until she saw it on the news. Your senior investigator, Jenny DiPrizio, with new information. Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halbert says the first time she or anyone on her team learned about Mayor Harris's MATA plan was when the news broke to the public and the county commission. It was a little disappointing that such an, an important initiative would be presented before the county commission and the public without the county commission, the county clerk's office knowing anything about it. Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halbert questions why she and her staffers we're not involved with a proposal to charge households with more than two cars an annual 145 sustainability fee. This week, Mayor Lee Harris introduced a plan to commissioners. If the commission approves it, Helbert's office would be responsible for collecting the money, and she questions if she can even do exactly what the mayor wants her to do. We're not exactly sure. We're just not sure. Mayor Harris says there's a reason he didn't tell Helbert ahead of time. My pledge to the county commission is that I would bring items to them first. That is what I thought was the best course. Halbert says just like the commission, she too is an elected official and says she deserves the same respect. Why would we not be at the table and, and have an opportunity to know? Halbert and Lee are scheduled to meet tomorrow. In the newsroom, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News. Yeah, there you go, and uh, that's the problem with that situation there uh, with Mayor Lee Harris and uh, Wanda Halbert fighting back at each other there. So uh, I guess she feels that, hey, I am in charge of this. You didn't let me know, so it's just like uh, you're uh, not even respecting the office. So You know what? I hear that to a degree, to a degree, right? I hear that to a degree, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm like, man, look, whatever, <laughs> because if the mayor, if he promised that he was going to tell the Shelby County Commission first, mm -hmm. then I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. You know, now I guess he, Well, I mean, why would he go to the Shelby County Commission? Because they have to vote on it. Yeah. She would have to. I mean, he, well, she's why, not didn't on he, that. why didn't he let her? I know she's not on the commission, Yeah. but if she's, uh, in that office where it has to come through her office, they have to deal with it too. Don't you think she needed to know before taking it to the Shelby County Commission or proposing it to be voted on? Well, so it was like he was saying, okay, I'm going to send it to vote on, to be voted on without even letting her know because she doesn't matter. Well, I mean, that, that's interesting um, in that aspect. But I, I, I'm like this, to be honest with you. I... Um, I, I get why he did it. I do. Now, uh -huh. not to not to say that he doesn't need to tell her. Now, it, it, since he did go to the Shelby County Commission, right? Which is, we know he did do that, right? Uh huh. Well, yeah, yeah, well, he did. I mean, yeah, he, he did that. But wait, 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 before that, she said she found out by listening to the news. I know that. Now that that now that's not a good way to find out. That's not good. I do agree with that. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, you do need to tell her at some point. Yeah, I don't know if, you know, I'm curious about how that relationship is anyway. If it's that rocky, then maybe there's, there's some other stuff going on. Yeah, I don't uh, know. As far as why they don't, you know, maybe there's some type of distrust there. You never know. Well, he wanted uh, what he wanted to propose. He wanted it to go through. Probably figured she wouldn't agree with it. Probably. And I, I, from the way it sounds, she doesn't sound, she doesn't agree with it. Yeah, and, and as she said, I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. So, and a lot of people don't like it. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't. I think it's rather dumb, really. Mm -hmm. um, I understand what he's trying to do, but I mean, come on now. But see, sometimes, uh, like a person like him in the, in the position he's in, mm -hmm. he said this will help the community. But I know if I if I tell other people about it, they're not going to agree with it. So I want to push this through because I know it works. And but yet at the same time, those other people that hold those offices, 
where things have to be done through them, mm -hmm. you know, you just can't, you know, just because you're Shelby County mayor, uh, do something just because you're at the top of the, of the, you know, the ladder in the whole county, you know, so you still have to uh, check with people. I mean, that's just out of respect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and as far as uh, maybe knowing that people are going to disagree with it anyway, that's part of politics. That's a part of being in office. People are going to agree and people are going to disagree with you. But that's something he's just going to have to just, um, you know, get over and uh, accept the fact that it happens. Uh, yeah, he just yeah. got to suck it up a little bit. I yeah. Guess, huh? And there's another uh, wonder how, but did we hear from her already? Yeah, that was the uh, that, What about the mayor? We didn't hear from no, him. No, we didn't hear from him. Okay, let's, let's see what the mayor, uh, Lee Harris, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris had to say about this. And uh, you'll probably see what I was trying to say that he was t thinking here. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a listen to this whenever you get it ready. Um, and our phone lines are open as well. Uh, if you want to call 901-213-6020. And... Uh, That'll be a good chance to see how the phone line worked through this system. Yeah. And so. Okay. But uh, Shelby County Lee Harris, uh, take a listen to what he has to say. It's all over his plan to impose a fee to raise $10 million every year for MATA. The mayor says the, crit the criticism doesn't faze him. His plan is that any household or business which has three or more vehicles, would have to pay an additional $145 a year for each registration. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews talked with the mayor today about his idea. There are actually some people out there who think that the Mayor Harris plan could end up meaning that people become anti matter Interesting. The system is the lifeblood for thousands of people who can't afford a car but need to get around. Mayor Lee Harris says they deserve better and the community should do better. That's why he came up with the idea to charge an extra $145 a year for households where there are three or more cars registered. In my view, you gotta try everything before you say, oh no, the only thing to do is raise property taxes uh, or to raise fees on everyone. When he presented his plan to Shelby County Commissioners, he talked about how many of them said the one thing they did not want to see was an increase in property taxes. Since he doesn't want to see that one either, the option is out. Raising fees on everybody, that's out too. What I've tried to do is pitch a way for us to invest in transit, reduce poverty, and have the method be as narrowly tailored as possible so that it impacts as few families as possible. You know that over 80% of our households do not have three cars and are not going to be impacted at all. Harris says, look, he has other options, yeah. He could raise the property tax on everybody. He could raise the registration fees on everybody. Or he could do nothing at all. As far as he's concerned, none of those options are acceptable. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News. All right, and the, uh, the Shelby County Mayor said, hey, if you don't want to accept that, then hey, you know, I can, uh, I can raise the property tax. On everybody. On everybody. You know, if you, you don't want everybody. to agree with that, then hey. I'll make you all suffer. I'll just raise the property tax. Or uh, he could uh, raise the price of registration to, uh, when you get ready to register your vehicle. He can raise that. Or he can do nothing. And he said that neither one of those are an option. Mm. So, in other words, uh, he's just not going to not do nothing. Okay, so he's wanting to get this through. He wanted to pass it. Yeah, want something to be done. I yeah. get that, you know. But, I mean, he has to do it the right way, though. Yeah, exactly. You just can't just walk over other people that are, you know, have positions in the county or, or whatever. If they're in that position, mm -hmm. I think he he needs to respect the person, the people that are in those positions and, um, you know, talk with them about it. Uh, well, if you feel they're going to disagree, try to explain it and the reason why. I mean, you know, that's just part of the deal. I mean, Now, do you think sometimes... I'll ask you this question. Do you think sometimes some of these people get in the way just to be getting in the way? Well, oh, yeah, absolutely. I believe that happens. And uh, uh, can you get around that? I mean, well, just like the mayor wanted to do, just go ahead and and just uh, submit the proposal without talking to other people that it may be or need to be involved is not the right way to go. 
But I do agree that there are people that just get in the way intentionally and just say, hey, it's a good thing, but I'm not going to vote on it. I'm not going to let it pass because it's going to make it's going to make him look good. And I don't want him looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That goes and, on. That and goes see, on. that's kind of what I'm thinking, you know, and now I'll say this, just these couple comments that came yeah. in. Greg said they ran it through because they knew it wasn't supposed to be there. Talking about the money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that was stupid, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and Jay uh, says Wanda is over the county clerk's office. Lee Harris is over the county. And the Shelby County Commission tells Wanda's office what to do. Much ado about nothing. Period. Yeah. That's I, what I thought. I, you know. I'm kind of feeling that way, man. Look, you're saying, well, I wasn't notified. Well, look, whatever. See, people with all these semantics, right? Yeah. And, and Memphis politics especially, people always feel like they're entitled to something, right? Yeah. Oh, you got to let me know. Well, I mean, he doesn't, even though you're over that office, right? Yeah. The people over you don't need permission to tell you what to do. They don't need, the Shelby County Commission doesn't need your permission to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. The mayor doesn't need your permission to tell you what to do. Now, it would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it would probably be appropriate if he did that. Mm -hmm. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're they're over her, so you kinda have to deal with it, you know? Well, just because he's over her, uh, well, I don't have to tell her anything. You know, I'm the big dog around here. So yeah. I can do whatever I wanna do and then if they want to fight about it, you know, then hey. Uh and that does kind of yeah. seem like the way he's going about it, to be honest. Yeah. I think what you're saying is the way he's doing it. Okay. So. All right. And uh, Linda says, uh, breaking up. Do you hear anything? Well, okay. I mean, it's not through here. It might be through the laptop if it's doing that then. Yeah. Okay. So I can't hear it. So it is what it is. Yeah. You know. Okay. So, I mean. It's just but if anybody else uh, uh, hear that breaking up, uh, let us know. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, okay. Okay. All right, uh, yeah. We you just, know what? And I think that does prove it's the Wi-Fi 100% yeah, now. Because yeah. I'm looking here mm -hmm. um, at the delay on the video that's behind. Yeah. The video should not be behind with this computer I'm using. Yeah, yeah. So, so. that that is the 100% of Wi-Fi problem. Now. Yep, indeed. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. indeed. All right, uh, guys. We tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, but we already have something figured out. We already have uh, an appointment uh, to check out uh, Wi-Fi and all that other kind of stuff t tomorrow. So we may be the morning show may be off a couple of days, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a day or two. Uh, and we'll make if y'all can't hear us now, we'll make a post about it. We'll make a post. Yeah, yeah. after this. So uh, yeah, but there it is. We'll get it all together. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, thanks for checking in with us again, and we're very, very appreciative of you guys. And uh, we'll be checking in with you later.